With his photograph smiling out from all those pieces of Chinese currency, you gotta wonder what Chairman Mao would really think of all the newly minted millionaires enjoying the fruits of that country's capitalism boom. As is often the case when a nation takes a great leap out of abject poverty, Conspicuous consumption is all the rage in Beijing and Shanghai these days, but the Rolex and Rolls are just part of the status symbolism. And as ABC's Gloria Riviera tells us, any self-respecting Chinese mogul also needs a special kind of protection. Exactly how I found myself pinned by an angry Chinese woman in a headlock and eating sand is complicated. What I can tell you is this. No, it's not an Asian version of G.I. Jane. These women are training to be on the mercenary must-have list in China today, female bodyguards. There are well over 200 billionaires in this country, almost a million millionaires. For many of them, private protection by women, not men, is the ultimate status symbol. Answering this rising demand is Mr. Chen Yongqing, who once worked as a bodyguard for superstar Jackie Chan. Working a deep tan and tight Armani t-shirts, He's part General Patton, part self-promoter, with his own personal cameraman. At his Genghis Security School, which he says is the first of its kind in China, men and women train side by side for 30 days. Despite the physical risk, women from across China want in. Wang Yalan is one of them. She's 24 years old and dropped out of medical school to come here. You're so tiny, and you're going to give up medicine and be a bodyguard. I feel like it is my true calling, she says. It has more of a sense of justice. She's one of many happy to pay a hefty tuition, about $3,000, and follow the rules. That means no dating until after the age of 28. Mr. Chen, who is 29, says it's a distraction. He is so confident he can turn anyone into a bodyguard that he challenges me to take his course. I don't know how well this is going to go, but we'll see. From underwater drills to practicing my scariest scream, it wasn't so bad until we got to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Guns are illegal in China, so it's a key skill when my partner seemed determined to master. Does he look in, like slightly insane to anyone else but me? I get pummeled. Then I decide maybe screaming my head off will help. Someone had a little bit of crazy this morning. The drills go on and on. But strangely motivated by Chen, no one, not even me, gives up. Which brings me back to exactly how I ended up in that headlock. That's a coconut in my arms. I have to protect it at all costs. I eat a lot of sand but I keep that coconut until the very end, earning respect. <laughs> Chen assures me he sees potential, but would I last a full 30 days? Wang Yalan did, graduating with Chen's latest class of female bodyguards. My advice, don't mess with a single one. For Nightline, Gloria Riviera, Sanya, China.